Above all, Donald Trump has one goal, and that's to protect himself over everyone else. I've been talking about this, how nobody in Donald's life, not his staff, not his friends, not even his children, are above him. And so when it comes down to it, if someone needs to go to jail to keep Donald Trump out of there, he will make that happen. And it's in this light that there's a new story out about how Donald Trump is essentially threatening Yvonne Trump. He is threatening his eldest daughter, his favorite daughter, if she dares do anything to go against him. And this is coming from some top sources. You can see right in the headline here that there is a threat by Donald at Ivanka if she does anything wrong. And this comes from within the Trump family, from Mary Trump, the niece of Donald and the cousin of Ivanka. She's saying she's making the same calculation that will help her in the long run because she must understand that as a government employee, as someone who is at least involved by association, someone who was there that day and wasn't taking any direct action to stop what was going on, at least not publicly, she knows she has to come down on the right side of things or she'll continue to stay her father's ally and have to see how that plays out. She's in a very bad situation because she must understand that if Donald feels it's necessary, he will stop protecting her. So that's from Mary Trump. We've talked about her a lot. She's not very much welcomed in the Donald Trump side of the family anymore. There's a lot of personal and legal issues there, but she does understand the Trump family dynamic. And I think she's right in saying that Ivanka is sort of stuck, that if she does what she needs to do to protect herself, which would be to testify and say, I asked my dad multiple times, I begged and pleaded with my dad multiple times on that day to call off his people and he didn't listen, that's probably the truth and it would protect Ivanka. It would frankly make her look less like a monster than she currently does, but that would put her dad in more political and legal trouble because he would have his very favorite daughter under oath saying everyone around my dad, including his family, knew what was happening was wrong and we all told him and he didn't listen. And so Donald Trump is threatening Ivanka to say, if you do that, I'm going to find some way to take it out on you. Maybe with January 6th related stuff, but also with the corporate stuff. Because as we've talked about yesterday, some of the crimes that happened at the Trump organization have more Ivanka fingerprints on them than Donald fingerprints on them. And so it's not inconceivable that he'll use that against her. And it's not just people in the family like Mary Trump that are saying this. Former people that worked in the White House with both Ivanka and Donald were saying much the same thing, that she sort of screwed either way in this scenario. It says, I think Ivanka will get herself in more trouble regardless of whether or not she speaks out. She doesn't seem to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, whether under deposition or not. Either way, she is not turning against her father and her father is definitely not going to take the blame for Ivanka. So that's a really tough situation and that's a great point. We've already seen Ivanka essentially lie under oath with regard to investigations around her dad's inauguration where she said she wasn't making any decisions and then there were literal copies of emails where Ivanka was making decisions about the inauguration events and ceremonies and all of that. So if she lied under oath for low stake things there's a chance she'll do it for something far bigger and far more complex. So all I know is that Donald Trump has no loyalty, even to his favorite daughter. And there are threats. I have no doubt in my mind that Ivanka understands the right thing to do is to testify and say, I tried to tell my dad to calm down and he didn't listen, but she can't do that because she knows that would destroy her. A tough position to be in, but I don't feel sorry for her.